So ladies and gentlemen, in this bag right here, I'm very pleased to present my new Skyborne backpack. I'm actually heading on a really cool, looking forward to mountain biking trip to Bentonville, Arkansas tomorrow. And I'm gonna bring this with me. First impressions, great looking backpack. And in the description box, top link in the description box right below the video will be this exact same backpack where you guys can read more about it and pick one up yourself after the video is done. Once again, that link will be the top link in the description box below. Love the straps, love the hardware. We got matte and then we got shiny hardware right here. Little clip, carabiner, water bottle, leather stitching for Skyborne right there. On the side right here, we have a lock for safety. If you are traveling, airport lounges, you get up to go to the bathroom, etc. That will prevent the zippers from unzipping. And that lock is TSA approved. So they have the uh, master key. And once the code is inputted, you just push that, of course, we just saw that. And then this zips on down, all the way down to the bottom here. And ladies and gentlemen, this thing is fancy dancy. We have a little push out compartment right here. USB port right there. Of course, you gotta have your power bank inside but quick charging let's say if that's underneath and what's really cool about that so that is underneath your plane seat you put your phone cable inside that port and you're charging while you're still watching your movie ipad pro whatever it might be okay then going here to the bottom we have ourselves dun 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 little shoe storage so this is a perfect bag for the athlete, trail runner, whatever it might be. Coming up here, another little logo on the bottom. This looks like it is detachable. Slides off and hooks up. That could be for your, of course, your overnight bag, toothbrush, and really accessible as well. So TSA can look in there. Okay, it's just Rogaine, prescription, toothbrush, toothpaste. You guys get the idea, very cool. And low profile as well. You don't have to have that on there, but you can if you want. We'll remove it for temporary purposes. And if you are wondering, it does have the clips on the bottom with also a little safety clip there as well, so it doesn't pop off. Okay, coming to the opposite side as the power port insert, you have a nice deep pocket there, another deep pocket here, and that pocket is actually expandable, which is really nice. That would be perfect for your water bottle. And before we look on the interior portion of it here, here's your straps and handles. You do have a release right here if you wanna put that around your chest. You have a nice luggage tag, very nice quality of everything as well. Pop your luggage tag information in there. Airborne logo right there. You got little kind of clips right here. Carabiner, whatever it might be right there. Very nice ventilated cushioning for your back. You have your carry-on slider where you can just slide your carry-on strap right through the top of that. Another zipper here, and that gives you more storage behind the lower back area. Again, this is just your slip-on area here for your carry-on luggage. On the right side, on the left side, if you're wearing the backpack over here on this side, you do have another little zipper pocket right here. And that's kind of almost like a little hideaway zipper pocket. You can have some cash folded up, probably big enough for a credit card. Hiking, you could even put your knife in there as I just did right there. Safety, do be careful though. And definitely do not take that to the airport. Of course, your strap up here at the top. And we're probably gonna have to switch over camera so I can get a better angle of the inside shots here. But the design is very well made. These just pop off right here. So it's mostly for looks and those are magnetic as well. So you don't have to push them in and jam them in. They literally just pop off like this, put it in place, it'll snap back. So those are adjustable if you needed to, but it's kind of mostly for kind of show purposes which opens up. And again, we'll have to switch over the cameras, but let's remove that out of the way. And plenty of room inside. You have yourself your little strap right here, which clicks out like this. You got your wiring cable right here for your power bank right here with your pocket to put your power bank in. Coming over here, you have a nice little mesh pocket here as well. Laptop charger. And what I do like about this bag is it's wide open. We'll of course show you what I got all the goodies in here as I take it to my trip to Bentonville. Uh, there is your kind of pull up area there for the bottom of your shoes. So they're separated. And if that gets dirty, then of course just undo this, pull your shoes out and you can wash that down there because this goes inside and that won't touch any of your electronics inside. So again, a very basic bag on the inside, but allows you to put more stuff. Like for instance, I'm gonna be putting my drone in here, my laptop, all my SD cards, because I am a full-time YouTuber, I do vlogs as well, so I will be vlogging the trip to Bentonville, Arkansas. So make sure you are subscribed to my other channel for that. We do have a couple more little features here. So we have a zipper, so this thing will unfold fully. And what's really nice is look at how well it's made. That's like weatherproofing for sure. You don't even see a zipper. 
And this is kind of like a nice kind of waterproofing nylon type of material here. Same with the bottom here, of course, all around the sides as well. So now that completely folds out for easy access. Let's say you are going to TSA. You literally can open this whole entire thing. They can see everything, but easier for packing and unpacking shoes, boom, cables, chargers, drones. You guys get the idea. They definitely thought of a lot of cool features for this backpack, but we're not done quite yet. There is another zipper right here. And inside is a pretty good size pocket as well. And it also comes, you have a little nylon little hook there, and it comes with, I believe, your laptop safety hook, or could even be your ID, whatever it might be, but a little retractable thing. I mean, if you really wanted to use this while you're skiing, backcountry hiking or whatever, you could have your lift pass on here, your ID, medical card, you guys name it. I'll get a nice little size pocket there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now this would mostly be for like clothes. This would be a excellent carry-on backpack. You could have your clothes, straps in, jackets, whatever it might be. Again, shoes down here. Now let's get to the juicy part of the rear of the backpack. There's so many features on this. It's kind of mind boggling. So I've already unzipped the zippers, which go from the top all the way down to the bottom, which opens up the back of the backpack right here. Here, coming down to more mesh pockets here for your cables, chargers, whatever it might be. And then for all you folks wondering, you can fit, of course, a 15.4 inch laptop in here, A4, 11 inches down here. So you got your papers, another pocket here, here. This is very soft, nice felt, whatever that is. So 15.4 would go in right here. 13 inch MacBook, paper, documents, whatever it might be. Well, if you're impressed so far, so am I. Made in Canada. Let's load this guy up and let's see what it can handle. All right, we're on my Bentonville trip right now. Let's see what I have inside here as we open it on up. Now, I have taken a few items out already, but here is my 15-inch MacBook Pro right here in the back, nicely protected with that sleeve, easily able to grab it and go. And I have my drone and some charging cables here, but let's see what else it can handle. All right, folks, we are back from my Bentonville trip. And if you are a mountain biker, highly recommend going to Bentonville because of the money that the grandson of the Walmart family is pumping into Bentonville. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, let's see what we have. I do like these magnetic straps right here. Easily clickable as we can see right there. Just line it up. Sometimes it lines it up itself, but they look really good. Uh, but before we do show you what's inside, the only con that I've experienced with this backpack is that loading this guy up and in and out of the Sprinter van as we were traveling this kind of jots off. It easily is magnetic and it just slips right in. And then that little hook right there keeps it in place. But if you're not going to use this, I would unhook it and leave it at home. And then also very easily cleanable. So it does get dusty. It's black. Mountain biking, if the van's dirty, you're setting it on the ground, you can easily just take a wet rag and wipe this bag down. That's what's nice about the material. Next up, I love the zippers. It's a great design. And let's see what we have inside right here. This thing can fit more than what I have in here, just to let you know. We have our little pocket here with my uh, generic AirPod. We have my GoPro right here that I use for mountain biking. Uh, I got my drone in here as well. Let's set that out and it's in its own little bag. I got my headphones for editing on my Mac. I have a Ridge ring. Here is one of their rings. If you are curious, comes with a silicone one as well. I was doing some uh, work with Ridge while I was on the trip as well. Got a uh, small tripod. I got my unraveled uh, Mac charger there. I got my GoPro chest mount there for mountain biking and all that right there. Now again, this can be clipped in. You could do clothes, shoes down here for an overnight bag if you want. Again, if it gets a little dusty, just take a wet rag, clean that up. Doesn't have to be an adventure backpack if you don't want it to. Hold your clothes, shoes, laptop in the back. Next thing I really like is once this is unzipped, and of course there's so many more small little areas. Once this is unzipped, this just opens up like we saw where it was on the bed and just whip this off. Grab your MacBook, again, 15 inches, and look at all the extra room I have here. Fits in beautifully. 
There's extra room on the sides as well. Probably fit something maybe even a little larger in there, but it is recommended for 15.4. Overall, great looking design. A lot of stuff you can throw in it, even more. You guys get the idea. Once again, top link in the description box below will be this same backpack by Skyborn, where you guys can read more about it and pick one up yourself. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you like tech review videos like this on tech products, DIY house builds, Ikea upcycle hacks, cute puppy videos, this is my baby, house remodel videos, accent walls, van life builds, and more. Once again, top link, description box below, your link for this backpack. We'll see you on the next one. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.